Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about the switch control. Now look at my screen. Currently it is in light mode. The moment I switch, the entire frame is changing to dark mode and also the letter here is saying dark. That means you have switched to dark. As I am going to click on this, I have switched to light. So how this entire design has been done, I am going to teach in this video. So without making any further delay, let's get started. All right. So first of all, let me close this and I am going to delete everything that is there. Okay. So I'm going to delete. We'll start from scratch. So deleted. There's a page content. I'm going to delete it. And I think in the main page event, I have said something I'm going to delete it. So it's like fresh blank page. Okay. It's just a blank page. The very first thing that I will do, I'll add a page and there are multiple templates available. I'm going to select this dashboard template and click on select for this demo purpose. Now within few seconds, you can see the dashboard page has appeared. But if I click on main page, the main page is still blank. And do you know how to get this dashboard linked with the main page? It is quite simple. All you have to do click on this container and add the page container. Once you have the page container, go to the general tab and here click and select the dashboard. Double click on that. It will get added. So now the main page shows the dashboard that we have added. We have hyperlinked or we have linked it. Now click on the dashboard. Do not stay on the main page. Now we have to work on the dashboard. So click on the dashboard. So once you are there in the dashboard, our main agenda is to learn the switch and the functionality that I have shown. Now for this, I'm going to click on add control. Okay. And I'm going to go to the input uh, control and I will add the switch. So drag and drop the switch. So only when you are in the new page, uh, in this page, it will allow you to make some modification. So I asked you to come to the dashboard page and do the changes. So now I have added the switch here. What I want, if I hit on preview, the switch has a label called switch. The moment user loads the page, it should be in the light mode. So I want it to show light. So that means we are talking about loading the page when the page load, it should be in light. So for that, what I will do, I'll go to the main page and then go to the event. You can see on the left hand side, the main page is highlighted and I'm going to the event. I'm going to click on create rule. Here, I'm going to use the rule called set values. And here I'll be using a variable. So what you have to do simply create a variable by clicking on the plus sign here. So I've created a variable called a. So I'm going to put the variable a over here by double clicking on this and every time this equal symbol should come. Okay. Otherwise something wrong. So equals to a has come. Okay, fine. Now I want it to show light. So I'm assigning a value to a variable a, which is the value is light to variable a. When the page loads in the load event, I put it. This is simple. Now let's go back to the dashboard and then select this switch control and here instead of this hard coded value i am going to say equals to and then put the a variable double you know double click on the a variable getting it this is how it should appear so a variable has been put so if you click on preview now when the page has loaded it said light now i have to add some functionality if somebody is changing this value it should say dark it should change itself to dark, which is currently not happening. Now, if I switch it here, it should say dark. If I switch it back, it should again say light. Now to achieve this functionality, we will highlight the switch control and then go to the events. And here I will create some rule for the value change. That means when the switch value changes, something should happen. Okay. So what should happen for this? I'm going to use the if then else rule and I'm going to say, Click, or click here and click on compare and type a here. So equals to, okay. Always remember when you are using variable type equals to a equals to a. And here I am saying if the value of a is light, 
then I want the value of A to change to dark. I mean, when somebody is changing, then it should set itself to dark, right? That's what we are doing. So initially, prior to this, the value was light. Then what you do? If the value has changed, the rule will trigger. It will check the prior value was light. Then it should set itself to dark. Getting it? Now, else, let's say the value was dark. The, the button was switched to dark. Again, somebody is clicking on it. The value changed. That time, if it is dark, then else may what we will put, we will say, set the value to light. This is the opposite we will do. Okay. Set the value to light. Now look at it, how this is going to function. Ensure your variables are written like this. Okay. Equals to A. If you're simply writing A, then it will be a problem. So I'm going to hit on preview. Wait for the page to completely load. Then test it. So here you can see it is initially it is saying light. Now I'm going to click here. So what is happening? It has set itself to dark. Now if I click it again, again anytime the value change the trigger will work the moment trigger works it will check the value was dark so it will set it to light getting it so this function we have achieved now what we want this area right this area i want it to become dark if it is light it should stay like this if it is dark then it should change to dark theme now to achieve this let's go back let me close it okay now to achieve that what you have to do we need two values okay first of all we need the color of this okay what is this color style and i will go to uh, background color so what is the color of this okay let's find the hex code uh, is it a blue shade or a gray shade okay so let's say this is our light mode okay we'll select something else so this is our light mode I, when it loaded this is how it should appear so i'll copy this hex code you can experiment with the colors but for the example i'm selecting this is the light code when it loads it should be like this and when it becomes dark it should be some you know it should be like this okay so i first got the hex code for the both the things okay done now let's set it back to the light mode initial should be the light mode right so i'll copy this okay, initial it should appear like this okay so now let's go to the switch function and we have to write some expressions go to the event go to the edit rule so what i want once it sets the value to dark I want the color to change to color of that container to change to certain thing. Now, which container you want to target? So here, if you see, this is the container I would like to target. And what is the name of the container? Once you highlight, the name will get highlighted here. So it is saying body. Okay, just to you know make it easy, I am going to put some number. Okay, one, two, three, something like that. I am putting okay, one, two, three, three, four, five. Just to you know we can easily see this. So body one, two, three, five. Given a name, it is not mandatory. Just for testing purpose, I am doing. So I got, I want to target this specific color of body container. Now for this, let's go here. We got the name. So I'll go to uh, edit rule. And then uh, in the then section, when it becomes dark, I'll click here, click here, and then use the set value control uh, rule. And here item to set, click here. I wanted to set the container color, right? So it is there under dashboard. Dashboard is a page. And then scroll down to look for that where they have given that it was a written body right so scroll, slowly look at it it will be somewhere or you can search okay sometimes the search would work sometimes it doesn't so let me try am i getting i'm not getting So let me manually search, give it some few seconds. Okay, so I found it. It is body one, two, three, four. Do you see? That's why I've given some name just to identify easily. So here is the container. 
now here i want to target the background color i am going to click on this background color and i want to set it to dark hex code so i will use this hex code copy this and i am going to paste it here pretty simple okay same thing when it has to switch back to the light mode i want to target the same thing i'll use a set value a set value of what of that container okay this container and i'm going to click on background color and i'm going to set it value to the default which is light color right so i'll put this hex code so you understood right how the logic is being built now let me hit on preview okay so it is in the light mode the color could have been more lighter you can you know spend some time to find that uh, what is the you know, light hex code so again look at it the moment i click on it it is changing to dark and it's saying dark now i am in dark mode if i again click on it it is saying light i am in the light mode do you see so this is working perfectly fine so our logic is working perfectly fine i hope this will be more helpful when you are going for a app page design you know this could be a one of the additional feature that we can give it to the user to enable the light or dark mode based on the preference the color you know the color hex code could have been more better i think it is quite dark probably you can look for some other hex code um, but again that's fine you the main goal was to give you the logic i hope this is going to help you a lot in designing more exciting web pages thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye